My name is Ethan, an avid alpinist who finds solace and adventure in scaling the grandest mountains. But there's one climb that will forever be etched in my memory, an experience that turned my love for mountains into an unsettling fear of the unknown. It was a misty morning when I embarked on the ascent of Mount Obsidian, a majestic and mysterious peak that loomed in the distance. The air was cool and carried an aura of ancient secrets that the mountain held. I felt a sense of unease deep in my bones, but I dismissed it as mere jitters, typical before a challenging climb. As I ascended, the world around me transformed into a desolate landscape. The towering rocks seemed to watch over me with an indifferent gaze, and the chilling mist seemed to conceal something elusive. The usual serenity of nature felt distant, and instead, a foreboding silence enveloped the surroundings. With every step, the weight of the mountain bore down on me, almost as if it wanted to test my determination. My heart pounded, and beads of sweat formed on my forehead, but I pushed forward, determined to conquer Mount Obsidian. As I climbed higher, the silence grew more profound, and the feeling of isolation intensified. It was as if the mountain wanted me to know that I was a mere intruder in its domain. But I refused to be intimidated, my spirit burning with a fierce resolve. Reaching a plateau, I stopped to catch my breath, and that's when I saw it, a vast darkness spreading across the horizon. The mist seemed to thicken, swallowing the world around me. I tried to shake off the feeling of dread, but it clung to me like a suffocating cloak. Undeterred, I continued forward, each step feeling heavier than the last. The darkness crept closer, obscuring my view, and I could feel a sense of impending doom. My mind played tricks on me, conjuring phantom sounds and distant echoes that echoed through the void. As I pressed on, the ground beneath me gave way, and I found myself falling uncontrollably. Panic gripped me, and I closed my eyes, bracing for the impact. But to my astonishment, I landed on a narrow ledge, barely saved from a fatal fall. The darkness engulfed the ledge, surrounding me in an oppressive shroud. The air grew colder, and a gust of wind howled through the barren landscape. It felt as though the mountain itself was warning me to turn back, to leave before it was too late. In the darkness, I could hear my own heartbeat, a steady rhythm in a realm where time seemed to lose its way. I felt a profound sense of loneliness, like an intruder in a forbidden realm, an interloper in a domain reserved for ancient forces. With trembling hands, I retraced my steps, eager to escape the grip of the darkness. As I descended, the world gradually regained its form, and the shadows receded. But the memory of that nightmarish descent remains etched in my mind, a reminder that some mountains hold secrets that defy explanation. Since that day, I have not ventured near another peak. The allure of the mountains has been replaced by an unsettling fear, a trepidation of the unknown that lurks in the darkest corners of the natural world. And as I sit by the fireplace, trying to put the pieces of that haunting experience together, I can't help but wonder what malevolent force resides within Mount Obsidian and what darkness lurks in the hearts of the mountains, waiting to ensnare those who dare to test their boundaries.